hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video we are going to see how we can perform conditional formatting and formula generation with chat gpt to automate the task in excel now for this one you don't need any knowledge about excel so for example let's say you don't know much about excel you are just a beginner and you are given this task to do conditional formatting add some formulas in excel sheet how can you do that using chat gpt that's what we are going to see today so let's get started before we move forward in the video let me tell you that v10x has an exclusive workshop on ms office using chat gpt and other ai tools the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video now let's get back to our topic in this sheet you can see we have data of various employees their score based on their different performance and then we have various numbers you can say it, it can be the sales number uh, for the particular employee on first four months of a year so january february march and april and we have a task like we need to find the quarter one total like basically we need to add these four numbers for each employee to find what is their total sales they have made in first quarter right apart from that we have to do some conditional formatting over it and then finally we need to generate some status uh, for these employees now let's say i don't know much about excel no basic things okay so how can you do that so i can easily do that using chat gpt actually i don't need to know much of excel so let me open chat gpt so this is my chat gpt window so i have already written some prompts and I am going to ask the same questions or same prompts to chat GPT so that chat GPT can answer me. So let me paste the prompt here. So what I am asking here, I am saying that in my Excel sheet, my data starts from B5 to H35, excluding the headers. Now, if I go to my Excel file, you see my data actually starts from B5. This is the cell number and it ends at this one h35 so i am first providing chat gpt the reference of my data right and excluding the header so excluding the header means header is in the fourth row right so that's why i am telling that explicitly that it is excluding the headers and okay here i have put two ones so no problem and i want to highlight all the sales in e to h columns that has a value greater than 50 and less than 75 with yellow background and black font please tell me how can i do this in pointers basically i want i'm asking chat gpt to say me in pointers because i don't want to read you know block of text like that and also provide me the formula right so let's ask chat gpt okay so chat gpt is giving us some answer and also it has given us some formula and we will go through this particular steps and formula one by one so let's see it is saying that select the range click on cell e5 and drag it to select to e5 to h35 go to conditional formatting okay let me do one thing let me open the excel here and let me uh, open the chat gpt in the side and excel in another side and let me make this excel window a little bit larger like this okay so now we can see both the windows and we can do task simultaneously so it is saying that click on a click on cell e5 and drag to select e5 to h35 so i'll click on e5 and i'll select up to h35 right or yeah h35 and then it is saying me go to conditional formatting navigate to home tab excel level and conditional formatting okay i'll go to home tab and i can see here we have conditional formatting then it is saying that uh, choose new rule from the drop down menu so i'll go to new rule and this is my new rule pane then it is saying that choose um, use a formula to determine which sales to format so this one is the choose a formula to determine which sales to format and then say it is saying that enter the following formula let me copy the code and i'll paste it here and then it is saying me this formula checks if the value is sale is greater than 50 and less than 75 so you can see it is a and condition and we are checking if the value is greater than 50 and also if it is less than 75 or not 
then it is saying that click on the format button go to fill tab so i'll click on format button and i'll go to i'm already in the fill tab and it is saying that uh, then uh, choose a yellow background then go to font tab and select a black font so let me choose this yellow color and go to font tab and then maybe choose a black color so maybe this one and let's click on ok to apply so i'll click on ok then it is saying something else okay this is the formula actually it is just repeating the formula and explaining the formula as well so you see how cool is chat gpt it is also explaining the formula to us okay so you don't need anything if you have chat gpt with you so i'll click on okay whoa you see just like that if i don't know excel also if i just know how to ask questions i can easily ask question to chat gpt and get my formatting done just like that right before we move forward in the topic let me tell you that ai is not going to replace you but a person using ai will so if you don't want to lag behind then join the workshop to learn ai hacks in ms office using chat gpt and other ai tools you don't need to have any prior knowledge for this and i'm pretty sure that you will become hyper efficient post this so what are you waiting for join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below now let's get back to our topic okay so what is our next task our next task is to calculate q1 total but i am not very pro in excel so what can i do again i'll ask chat gpt now remember one thing chat gpt actually remembers what we said earlier so i'll so exactly now chat gpt knows what exactly i'm referring to on which data i'm working so my next question would be a little bit simpler okay so let me ask the next question okay yeah so now it's fine so it's saying that the e to h columns contains the monthly data for the first quarter and the i column needs to be populated by the sum of four months can you give me the formula to do so so i'm asking that okay these are my these columns are populated with monthly data and i want to calculate the uh, quarter total in the i column so i just uh, asking the formula to chat gpt so let me send this message oh certainly okay this is basically the formula it is giving me so uh, if you have time you can pause the video and read it i'm just going to copy and paste it here so maybe i'll paste it like that click on enter wow now you can see I have my totals and now all I need to do is double tap here. So and then you see I am having my key one totals here. Just like that. All I have to do is ask question to chat GPT. Ask proper prompt to chat GPT to get my answers correctly. Now what's the next task? Next task is I want to give some status to this particular employees based on their performance and based on their score okay now let me ask another question to chat gpt so that chat gpt can help me answer that now the question is the c column has the score value this one is the c column it has the score value and i want to write a formula that will show awesome if the score is greater than 50 and the quarter one total is greater than 200 so basically what i want is i want to populate the status as awesome if the score is 50 and the quarter one total is greater than 200 otherwise i want to show okay okay so let me send this so it is saying saying me that you can use if condition and blah 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 and it gives me the formula right so i'll copy the code like that come here and i'll click it here and control v so and i'll hit enter so it's giving me okay so let me verify it is q1 total is 192 which is less than 200 so and we are using an and condition if one condition also falls then the total condition falls right and let me double tap here so i'm getting quite a few awesome so you see this is 301 and the score is above 50 so awesome that's correct similarly here i'm getting this is 60 and this is 262 above 50 and this is above 200 so it's also awesome right so yeah you see i am having 
everything status populated conditional formatting formula everything using chat gpt i don't need to know much of excel right now let's go one step further okay now i want to highlight the entire row basically i want to bold the entire row if the status is awesome right if the status is awesome i want to highlight the entire row now i am not a very excel guy right i am not very much into excel but i don't i know how to use chat gpt so let me ask the same question to chat gpt okay so i'll copy my prompt i'll paste it here and what is the prompt says it says i want to make the entire row bold so it will be actually if okay so your prompt need not to be very perfect actually like if you can ask quite a few good prompt grammatical correction and everything that chat gpt understand but it is good habit to you know ask proper prompts with proper grammar and all as much as you can but again you need not to be very perfect like you see i have written two the so it happens okay so i want to make the entire row bold if the status column um if the status column that is column j so awesome okay that's the condition so let me send this one let's see what the chat gpt answers us okay so it's saying that you need to do conditional formatting and it is again saying that new rule use a formula to determine now we already done that when we do, did our first conditional formatting so what i'll do is i'll just copy the code and uh, let me expand it a little and then let me go to conditional formatting or oh, let me first select the entire uh, thing that i need to conditional format then i'll go to conditional formatting new rules for use a formula to determine which cells to format and i will paste it here and then i'll go to format and i will go to bold or oh, let's make it bold italic and click on okay and click on okay wow you see all the awesome employees are now highlighted with bold font and italics font style so you see how is it is to do excel stuff when you have power of chat gpt with you i hope you like this video and i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you